in a way, the Large Hadron Collider is like a time machine, trying to create the conditions that happen just in the few millions of a second after the Big Bang. A colossal machine, nestled beneath the beautiful land of Switzerland, works to unveil the secrets of the cosmos. This is the story of the Large Hadron Collider, the world's most mammoth and potent particle accelerator. Join us to learn more. What is the Large Hadron Collider? The Large Hadron Collider is a creation of the European Particle Physics Laboratory, CERN. This colossal machine cranks subatomic particles to unimaginable energies, all under control. The Large Hadron Collider isn't just an accelerator. It's a gateway to understanding the cosmos on the smallest scales. Think of it as a scientific powerhouse, boosting particles to astronomical energies so scientists can observe their interactions. The Large Hadron Collider resides at the CERN's circular tunnel and proudly claims the title of the world's largest accelerator. The word large barely does justice to its size as this behemoth occupies a circular tunnel, the length of which could make your jaw drop. Hadron is a term that groups together composite particles like protons, which are made up of tinier building blocks called quarks. And collider means that two particle beams race towards each other in opposite directions and when they collide, that's when the magic happens. The purpose and runs of the Large Hadron Collider. The Large Hadron Collider is more than a groundbreaking experiment. It's a quest to push the boundaries of our understanding of the universe. At its core, it challenges the theoretical predictions laid out by the standard model of particle physics. It's like a cosmic detective searching for the tiniest cracks in this model while the standard model explains most of particle physics, some queries remain. There are mysteries that lie beyond its grasp, mysteries like dark matter and dark energy. These cosmic enigmas evade explanation until we unlock those hidden doors in the model. That's why the Large Hadron Collider exists, to break through the barriers of our current understanding and reveal the secrets of the universe. Imagine rewinding time to the tiniest fraction of a second after the Big Bang. The Large Hadron Collider can simulate those explosive conditions, unlocking a treasure trove of knowledge. Having been completed in 2008, the Large Hadron Collider embarked on two successful operational phases. The inaugural run spanned from 2010 to 2013, followed by a second phase that extended from 2015 to 2018. Each of these runs brought forth a unique array of breakthroughs, world records, and notable achievements. Yet, amid these accomplishments, elusive enigmas linger, particularly surrounding the realm of dark matter. While most cosmic matter evades human sight, the gravitational traces of dark matter's existence have been discerned, prompting the scientific consensus that it is a tangible presence. This enigmatic dark matter functions as the hidden cosmic framework that unites galaxies and galaxy clusters, casting a compelling aura of intrigue. The riddle persists, as the true nature of dark matter remains undiscovered, ranking high among the most captivating puzzles for scientists. One of the prime motivations behind the construction of the Large Hadron Collider was the quest for resolution. When this monumental apparatus was activated for the first time in 2010, physicists held high hopes that its operation would yield answers. Despite the momentous Higgs boson discovery, the broader quest to unveil the composition of dark matter yielded no further revelations. Expectations had been pinned on the likelihood of at least one particle emerging to elucidate the enigma of dark matter's composition. Yet, disappointingly, the Collider's initial run failed to unearth any additional particles of significance in this pursuit. Consequently, following its second phase's conclusion in 2018, the Large Hadron Collider was briefly shut down to undergo comprehensive maintenance and upgrades. This hiatus spanned three years, concluding on 22nd of April, 2022, when the Collider was reawakened to recommence its scientific endeavors, fortified by enhancements and repairs. Max Laughlin's Shocking Claims Max Laughlin, a child genius, reported to be the smartest child in the world, just revealed that CERN has opened a portal to another dimension. You might be wondering, how can a child's claims gain such importance? 
That is due to the fact that he has been making waves since the age of 13, when it was claimed that he had come up with the solution to energy crises by creating a device that creates free energy. But his claims were widely criticized as they go against the laws of thermodynamics and energy conservation. He proceeded to shock the world with his bold theories regarding CERN and its use of the Large Hadron Collider. He suggests that the experiments conducted at CERN, the European Organization for Nuclear Research, have the potential to rupture our reality, ushering us into a parallel realm that closely mirrors our own. Laughlin raises the intriguing prospect that these experiments might have fractured our universe, propelling humanity into a parallel reality. According to his perspective, within the vast multiverse, an infinite array of parallel universes exist, each with its unique traits. In this cosmological mix, we're flung ceaselessly from one parallel reality to another, often imperceptibly transitioning from one to another as our very reality shifts. This concept, while dizzying, forms our current reality, as per Laughlin. He proposes that CERN scientists, aligned to anomalies in the space-time sequence, intervened and molded these pivotal moments, unveiling a stark truth. Diving further, Laughlin's theory explores the enigmatic concept of portals, portals that could establish bridges between adjacent universes. This concept aligns with whispers of CERN's work towards creating such connections. Such pursuits correlate with Laughlin's view of the Mandela Effect a phenomenon where a collective memory misinterprets events. Laughlin suggests that the Large Hadron Collider acted as a catalyst, prompting humanity to traverse into a new universe. Amid the development of the Large Hadron Collider during Bill Clinton's presidency, apprehensions about its potential destructive capabilities emerged, going beyond Laughlin's theory. Even as early as its design stages, a slew of experts voiced concerns that this ambitious project might give rise to a voracious black hole consuming our planet. Francesco Caliguero, a Nobel Peace Prize co-recipient in 1995 and a nuclear physicist at the University of Rome, found these fears compelling enough to publish an article titled Might a Laboratory Experiment Destroy Planet Earth? in the year 2000. This essay triggered protracted and unending discussions revolving around the looming question of whether the Large Hadron Collider harbored the capability to annihilate our world. This discourse held the spotlight for years and managed to infiltrate even John Oliver's daily show in 2009. Within the episode, John Oliver engaged in an interview with a physics professor who asserted a disconcerting reality. The experimental setup boasted a 50-50 chance of generating a formidable black hole, potent enough to obliterate Earth, Seeking to verify these claims, John conversed with experts from CERN, the organization behind the Large Hadron Collider initiative. Through these conversations, he verified the professor's statements, prompting the physicists at CERN to counter the dire prediction. They emphasized that the Large Hadron Collider had been fashioned not as a harbinger of doom, but as an instrument for profound scientific exploration. Number 15. The Length and Depth the Large Hadron Collider, resting beneath the Earth's surface, spans a remarkable 27 kilometers in a circular path connecting Geneva and the Jura Mountains. As the tunnel was carved out, the two ends converged with astounding precision, coming together with a mere one centimeter gap. This expansive tunnel isn't newly made. It's recycled from the previous accelerator, LEP, sharing the same 27 kilometer circumference. If we take a look at its geology, the tunnel's construction was a blend of practicality and economics, residing at an average depth of 100 meters. This depth was meticulously selected to balance geological considerations with financial feasibility. The tunnel maintains a subtle incline of 1.4%, enhancing the scientific journey it facilitates. Within this subterranean voyage, the tunnel's depth evolves, oscillating between 175 meters beneath the Jura Mountains and a shallower 50 meters near the serene Lake Geneva. This fluctuation in depth is a testament to the harmonious integration of geological realities and scientific ambitions. Number 14. Superconductors 
The superconductors, a marvel within the LHC's core, lie a staggering 6,000 to 9,000 threads of superconducting niobium titanium, delicately interwoven into cables. What's truly captivating is that each of these filaments is a mere 0.007 millimeters thin, a thickness dwarfed by typical human hair at nearly 10 times finer. If these minuscule filaments were placed end to end, they would span the journey from Earth to the Sun and back not once, not twice, but an astounding six times. And that's not all. There would still be enough thread left over for about 150 voyages to the Moon. These superconductors step onto the center stage within the LHC, playing an irreplaceable role in crafting the 9,600 magnets that reside within its walls. Each of these magnets isn't merely decorative, they're crucial components that optimize particle trajectories and neutralize the effects of tidal forces. Intriguingly, a less known tidbit emerges. The Earth's crust beneath Geneva elevates by roughly 25 centimeters due to these ground tides, causing a subtle shift of one millimeter in the LHC's circumference. This minute change leads to remarkable alterations in beam energy and particle paths. Now let's talk about upgrades. CERN, the powerhouse behind the LHC, has supercharged its injectors, those essential components that channel beams of particles into the collider. The LHC's previous energy threshold of 6.5 tera electron volts has now been elevated to a staggering 6.8 tera electron volts. To put it into perspective, a single tera electron volt is equivalent to a whopping 1 trillion electron volts. That's a magnitude of power that's hard to fathom. To achieve this phenomenal feat, a symphony of superconducting magnets plays a crucial role, steering the particles along their trajectory. But here's the twist. These magnets needed a refresher after a period of inactivity during long shutdown to the magnet training, is a process encompassing around 12,000 meticulous tests to ensure they're ready for collisions at these unprecedented energies. With the LHC's powerful proton beams raring to go, the stage is set for experiments that could shatter preconceived notions and reshape our understanding of the universe. Number 13. The Acceleration The LHC's acceleration process commences with procuring protons from ordinary hydrogen at CERN. Despite the LHC's impressive proton packs, boasting a hefty 115 billion protons per bunch, tightly packed within a minuscule 3.5 micrometer beam, the actual amount of hydrogen accelerated daily is astonishingly modest, a mere 2 nanograms. To achieve the feat of accelerating a single gram of hydrogen, it would require an astonishing journey through time, spanning approximately 1 million years. This encapsulates the delicate balance between precision and scale that the LHC provides. While the beams of protons are energetic, their origins rest in the humble building blocks of hydrogen. This journey from the ordinary to the extraordinary takes place within the LHC's subterranean chambers. Number 12. The Icy Cold Temperature In the chilling atmosphere of the Large Hadron Collider, a high level of frostiness prevails, with temperatures as low as an astonishing minus 271 degrees Celsius, a mere 1.9 degrees above absolute zero. To attain this unparalleled cold, a remarkable 120 tons of liquid helium come into play, earning the LHC the crown of Earth's coldest spot. It's even colder than the vast expanse of outer space itself. But why are such frigid conditions required? This icy environment holds the key to sustaining the LHC's potent magnets in their superconducting state. These robust magnets wield the power to launch particles to velocities nearing the speed of light and display monumental collisions, all while divulging the universe's enigmas. Hence, the particles race within this icy labyrinth, gaining momentum and energy all made possible by the extreme cold. Number 11. Hotter than the heart of the sun. The Large Hadron Collider reveals its duality as a generator of both freezing and fiery conditions. As collisions of particles unfold at an astonishing rate of 40 million times per second, Temperatures within the LHC surge to unparalleled heights. The heat generated during these cosmic clashes can surge to levels a staggering 100,000 times hotter than the sun itself. Within this inferno, particles momentarily shift into a distinct form, 
the elusive quark-gluon plasma. This exotic state emerges as protons and neutrons relinquish their distinct identities, melding into a brothy mixture of quarks and gluons. This molten realm, though fleeting, offers a portal into the universe. Enveloped in this fiery cauldron, scientists are bestowed with the opportunity to scrutinize the very essence of matter's foundation. This scorching crucible enables the recreation of conditions reminiscent of the universe's infancy, mere moments after the Big Bang ignited cosmic evolution. The LHC stands not only as a frontier of discovery, but as a time machine, inviting us to delve into the fiery past and reshape our understanding of existence itself. Number 10. The Vacuum Within the Large Hadron Collider, a stunning achievement in engineering births an environment of unparalleled vacuum. Here, the vacuum level achieved is so extreme that it dwarfs atmospheric pressure by an astonishing one trillion times, an equivalence to the void found within the vast expanse of outer space. This extraordinary vacuum is meticulously upheld through the strategic use of vacuum chambers. These chambers stand as guardians, ensuring that particles glide undisturbed, free from any interaction with lingering gas molecules. This amazing upkeep of an almost empty space is pivotal, upholding the sanctity of particle beams as they gracefully orbit and converge. This near-vacuum domain isn't just an empty expanse, it's a portal to the very essence of the universe. Unburdened by the constraints of atmospheric interference, particle beams are free to unveil the secrets that lie beneath the surface of reality. Number 9. Velocity within the Large Hadron Collider Within the confines, protons surge with an astonishing speed, clocking in at an astounding 0.9999999991 times the velocity of light, when the LHC hums at its design energy. Each proton embarks on a whirlwind journey, encircling the 27 kilometers ring over 11,000 times every single second. A single beam of particles might race within the LHC's confines for over 10 hours, surging across distances that defy comprehension, almost more than 10 billion kilometers. It's sufficient to go to Neptune and back. The minuscule particles on a collision course display unparalleled precision, similar to launching two needles an astonishing 10 kilometers apart, with the pinpoint accuracy to make them meet midway. Number 8. Energy within the Large Hadron Collider In the world of energy within the Large Hadron Collider, Immense power converges in small spaces. Each of the LHC's proton beams, when unleashed at full speed, wields an energy similar to a big 400-tone train. To get an idea of the magnitude of this energy, just remember that it possesses the potential to liquefy 500 kilograms of copper, a feat that underscores its sheer intensity. Yet when we measure these energies in the context of our daily lives, they might seem rather ordinary. In fact, one tera electron volt, a unit of energy, mirrors the kinetic force of a mere flying mosquito. However, the LHC's magic doesn't lie solely in the magnitude of energy. It's the remarkable ability to concentrate this energy within an infinitesimal space that sets it apart. This particle-packed wonderland is roughly a million million times smaller than the space an unassuming mosquito occupies. Number 7. Data within the Large Hadron Collider in this incredible collider, particles collide at unprecedented energies, birthing an astonishing cascade of information. A mere second within the LHC unfurls an amazing 40 million collisions, a torrential flow of data. Within the span of a single year, the LHC generated an unfathomable 25 petabytes of data. To grasp its magnitude, that's a staggering 25 million gigabytes, or roughly 1.5 million high-definition movies. This monumental data demands more than mere infrastructure. It necessitates highly advanced computing systems and intricate algorithms. This sophisticated exchange between technology and science unveils a new dimension of exploration. This data, a digital manifestation of the universe's innermost secrets, is dissected by the scientific community. With every algorithmic analysis, the LHC unveils insights that reshape our comprehension of reality. Number 6. The Higgs Boson On the 5th of July, marking the day after the 10th anniversary of the Higgs Boson's discovery, 
The third run of the Large Hadron Collider was triumphantly executed. In the world of particles, where mass seems ubiquitous, a perplexing anomaly arises when examining the microcosm. The electroweak theory, which unifies the electromagnetic and weak forces, proposes the existence of mediators that should be devoid of mass. These mediators act as carriers of forces. The weightless photons facilitate electromagnetism, while the W and Z bosons bear the weak force. Astonishingly, while photons traverse the realm without mass, the W and Z bosons present a substantial heft comparable to a staggering hundred protons each. Going into the annals of physics history, we encounter the groundbreaking year of 1964, where independent thinkers unveiled a solution that would transform our understanding. The brilliant physicist Peter Higgs from the University of Edinburgh and the duo Francois Anglaire and Robert Barut from the Free University of Brussels posited an unconventional notion. They introduced a unique field that bestowed mass upon particles depending on their interaction strength with it. If this Higgs field were to exist, it necessitated a mediator, a particle now renowned as the Higgs boson. However, only an extraordinary facility like the Large Hadron Collider could detect this elusive particle. Fast forward to 2013, a year that witnessed a resounding confirmation. Physicists triumphantly announced the discovery of the Higgs boson, weighing approximately 126 giga electron volts. Remarkably, this mass corresponds to around 126 protons, as the principle of mass-energy equivalence permits the use of electron volts as a unit of mass. This landmark achievement did not close the chapter, but instead unveiled new avenues of investigation. Now, time for today's subscriber's pick. The image displayed shows the child genius Max Laughlin and his hypothesized portal into an alternate dimension created by CERN using the Large Hadron Collider as mentioned earlier. If this portal really exists, was it an accident? Or was it a well-planned experiment? Does an alternate dimension exist on the other side of the portal? Or perhaps is it something else altogether beyond the scope of human knowledge and science? Does this portal have the capacity to annihilate our existence? Many questions, but not many answers. Let us know your thoughts in the comments below. Number 5. Particle X and Particle Z In 1964, two intrepid researchers grappled with the enigma of hadrons. These tiny particles, governed by the potent strong force, posed a puzzling structure challenge. In the quest for understanding, Murray Gell-Mann unveiled the name quarks, assigning them three distinct characters, up, down, and strange. As time progressed, three more characters emerged, charm, top, and bottom. Over time, physicists sorted hadrons into two main groups according to quark assembly methods. Baryons, which include protons and neutrons, took shape from three quarks, while mesons like pions and kaons sprung to life from quark-antiquark -quark pairs. But was this the entirety of possible combinations? A pivotal moment arrived in 2003 when Japanese researchers stumbled upon a peculiar particle, X. Its composition appeared to involve a charm quark, an anti-charm, and at least two other mysterious quarks. The journey didn't stop there. Along the path of exploration, scientists encountered another anomaly, Z, a four-quark particle that defied convention. In the Grand Chamber of the Large Hadron Collider, evidence for several such particles came to light, casting a shadow over the established quark arrangement model. These fleeting entities, the Z particles, may have existed briefly after the explosive inception of the cosmos, perhaps flourishing for a mere fraction of a second post-Big Bang. In an event this year, January bore witness to a significant breakthrough when CERN scientists disclosed their monumental discovery of X particles. Amid a plethora of particles within the Large Hadron Collider, X particles were singled out and identified for the first time. These X particles are traced back to a fleeting era, a mere few millionths of a second post the colossal Big Bang. At that juncture, the cosmos was a boiling crucible of brilliance, a trillion-degree plasma soup teeming with quarks and gluons. These elemental constituents, upon cooling and coalescing, evolved into the more enduring protons and neutrons. In a fraction of these quarks and gluons, a transient alliance formed, 
birthing the transient X particle. The intricacies of how these fundamental building blocks interact to engender the intricate X particle architecture confound researchers. Decrypting this process could usher in a deeper comprehension of the particles populating Earth's early existence. To recreate the conditions of X particle genesis, CERN researchers displayed high speed collisions of positively charged lead atoms. These violent interactions mimicked the universe's nascent moments, emitting a fleeting plasma burst. However, amidst the 13 billion head on ion collisions, the challenge lay in isolating the elusive X particles. Anticipating further revelations, the Large Hadron Collider is ready for operation until 2025, at which point a hiatus of two years is scheduled to facilitate enhancements and novel installations, as per CERN's plans. Number 4. The Supersymmetry From theoretical physics, a captivating concept of supersymmetry emerged. This ingenious idea stepped onto the stage to address lingering conundrums that the standard model of particle physics couldn't quite explain. Questions loomed large, such as the origins of particle mass, the interweaving dance of electromagnetism and nuclear forces, and the enigmatic composition of dark matter. Moreover, supersymmetry unveiled an intricate connection between fermions like leptons and quarks that constitute matter, and the bosons that govern their interactions. Leptons, including electrons, belong to the group of particles called fermions, possessing contrasting quantum traits when juxtaposed with bosons. Supersymmetry boldly asserted that for every fermion, a corresponding boson exists, and vice versa with the power of transformation infused within each particle. Should supersymmetry stand true, it would signify that fermions and bosons are not disparate entities, but rather two facets of a singular cosmic coin. This would elegantly eliminate vexing infinite quantities that arise within mathematical equations, as corresponding particles would harmoniously cancel each other out. Notably, the theory would also welcome gravity, a glaring omission from the standard model, as fermion boson and boson fermion conversions might involve elusive gravitons, the theoretical carriers of gravity. Anticipation surrounded the Large Hadron Collider as physicists awaited revelations that could bolster the framework of supersymmetry, pointing the way toward uncharted theoretical and experimental domains. To date, these outcomes remain elusive, yet the curtain hasn't fallen on supersymmetry. A multitude of supersymmetry variations are interwoven with distinct assumptions, and while the LHC has sifted through some of the most promising strains, the missing supersymmetry remains an ever-evolving tale. Number 3. Coordinated Motion and Quark-Gluon Plasma A remarkable discovery emerged when scientists at the LHC defied convention. Instead of the usual proton-proton clashes, they directed protons to collide with lead nuclei, and an astonishing occurrence came to light. The once erratic paths of subatomic debris took on an unexpected sense of coordination. At the heart of this puzzle stands a compelling theory the birth of an exotic state of matter known as quark-gluon plasma. This enigmatic substance flowed similarly to a liquid and generated harmoniously coordinated particles as it cooled. This isn't the first encounter with quark-gluon plasma. Both Brookhaven National Laboratories and the LHC have previously conjured this densest manifestation of matter outside the confines of a black hole. Through the collision of heavy ions like lead and gold, Quark-gluon plasma emerged, offering a glimpse into conditions reminiscent of the early moments after the Big Bang, when quark-gluon plasma briefly held dominion. Yet the energy from the proton-lead collision appears inadequate to birth the hypothetical quark soup. While many physicists rally behind this concept despite its intricacies, an alternative notion presents itself. This perspective goes into the theoretical realm of gluons, particles that display a potent, strong force, and meld quarks and antiquarks into the fabric of protons and neutrons. The theory proposes that near-light-speed gluons generate fields, propelling interactions among themselves. If substantiated, this model carries the potential to unravel the intricacies of proton structure and interplay, unveiling crucial insights. Number 2. Monopoly and the Parallel Universe 
The Monopole and Exotics Detector at the LHC is an instrument designed to seek out the universe's most elusive and enigmatic particles. Deep within the underground labyrinth of the LHC resides a smaller yet equally potent device. Unlike its counterparts, it doesn't seek to merely study known particles. Its mission is far more daring. It is meant to uncover particles that exist beyond the realm of our current understanding, lying in uncharted territories outside the standard model. The monopole is a magnetic particle that defies convention with a sole north or south pole. Hypothesized for years but never witnessed, the monopole is a testament to the universe's untamed mysteries. Monopoly and exotics detector's role is to scan the chaos of particle collisions within the LHC. It keeps a vigilant eye out for the elusive monopolies, a task that could redefine our understanding of magnetic forces and the building blocks of the cosmos. But that's not all. Modal has more in its sights. It aims to detect stable, massive particles, entities predicted by theories that dare to challenge the standard model. Number 1. Mini black holes or an antimatter bomb. The N in CERN might make you wonder if the Large Hadron Collider is dangerous, but the N that stands for nuclear might not be something to be fearful about. This isn't about the explosive reactions in nuclear weapons. Rather, CERN's research takes us to an even more fundamental level, the very building blocks of protons and neutrons. It's a world of subatomic energies, often labeled as high-energy physics. Let's put this in perspective when we talk about high energy on this scale. We're talking about energies akin to a humble mosquito. Some have voiced concerns about the LHC unleashing mini black holes. While this notion might tickle the imagination, the reality is far from catastrophic. Even if such an unlikely event occurred, any mini black holes formed would be unimaginably minuscule and incredibly unstable, vanishing into the abyss in the blink of an eye. These insights come from the LHC Safety Assessment Group's careful scrutiny, ensuring that experiments are conducted in a controlled and secure environment. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next one.